What's up, Trip Gang? It's your boy Trip, and I'm back with another banger. You already know what it is, man. In this video, we're about to switch it up a little bit. As you can tell by the subject line, you know what I'm saying? We're about to get into homosexuality versus human sexuality, pretty much. You know, and uh, why is it such a taboo thing in the black community? Why are black women, especially, you know, tearing down black men and not creating a safe space for them to explore their sexuality? You know, is uh, homosexuality, you know, um, an attraction to the same sex? Or is it something as black and white as uh, what you want to do in a bed with the opposite sex? You know, uh, we're going to get into that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about it. I came to y'all because, you know, I've seen this this uh, clip of something that really disturbed me. And I want you guys to check out the clip and we'll be right back. Holla. Holler. No, no, it's no. comfortability. No, no, And you should not be comfortable that means putting like, anything in your ass uh, as a straight man. But, period. Okay, but a straight man getting fucked by that. a straight, uh, a female is heterosexual sex. Uh, uh, it's not heterosexual sex. It is. <laughs> No, it's a it's, it's a, a plastic. So wait, you put a dildo in his ass and that's heterosexual. Um, sexual. Yes. Get the fuck out of here, man. He's nuts. No, it's not nuts. He's that's not he's gay. gay. No, he's yes, not he gay. Is. And then I know guys who fucking moan when they're getting fingered. You're fucking gay. No, you're I not. Don't get, I'm I agree with you. Him. Yeah, no, no I you're I not. I'm telling you. I, no, you're not. Because I, I feel like once if you don't moan for me riding you and you moan for my finger in your ass. A guy, you can, he can have you. I do not want you. I, the, are you serious? I, if I can penetrate your ass, I do not want you. If you are a straight man. If I know you are bisexual and I choose to deal with you, that's exactly. completely different. Okay, so now that y'all seen that clip, I want y'all to check out this next clip of this lady who came onto my radio show a while back. And we had the same subject. We had the same topic and we discussed it, you know, and she has a total different opposing view, you know, um... Check out that clip, and when we come back, we're going to get into it and dig a little deeper into homosexuality versus human sexuality. You know, a guy could feel like that, you know what I mean? Especially not even getting the aspect, okay, if, all right, and this is not even, let's well, to say no homo. Yeah. Ass, <laughs> right. You know, like, okay, I, I, I was with this one dude, right? Mm -hmm. And right when he was about to get his off, ejaculate, he like me to put my finger in his butt. You come know on. what I mean? Okay. <laughs> You know, it made him come harder. It's mm -hmm. the truth. But yeah, it does. It did, he was. The, that's the best way to get to the male G spot. Right, mm -hmm. but yeah. he wasn't gay. Right, you know? right. And that's, See, my thing. that's the thing. Right, mm -hmm. and I knew my role. So hey, if it pleased him and the way he came, I really enjoyed it. So right. you know, I made sure I See? paid attention. So it starts with self. It, it does. Starts with it does. Self. And that's what I'm getting to. It definitely yeah. starts with self. You know, um, and if you are in a relationship and you, you know, men. Man, mm -hmm. men are uh, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful. Oh my goodness, y'all think women beautiful? Like men are absolutely oh, style. beautiful. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm back with another banger. I just want to talk to y'all about some things. You know what I'm saying? Um, this whole thing about homosexuality being something that's uh goes with what you like sexually um now i in my mind i'm thinking that being gay is being attracted to the same sex i didn't know that it was you know uh what you wanted to do sexually in a bed with uh the opposite sex you know and the thing with these women you know um especially black women they don't allow their men the opportunity to explore their sexuality with them. You know, uh, you hearing, oh, that's gay, and this, that, and, and in the clip with, oh, girl, she sounds so ratchet, talk about some, nah, my nigga, that's gay. But women are allowed to explore their sexuality any type of way they want, you know? And it's not a thing, you know, y'all rubbing on asses and um, grabbing titties and, you know, uh, letting girls eat y'all out and doing all that kind of stuff, but there's nothing wrong with it. You know, y'all want a man to please y'all in every single way. You know, but when it comes to reciprocation to that man, only thing that he can use is his mouth and, and his dick. You know, you're not willing to give that man anything more than that. Some of y'all black girls don't even, you know, want to do that. 
you know, y'all not doing stuff like licking his toes or, you know, eating his ass or doing anything that he wants to do or maybe he's afraid to do because the way you might look at him. You know, I think that's a problem in the black community when it comes to females. I don't think that black males are, you know, allowed to explore their sexuality with the opposite sex. Why is it gay if a man, you know, wants to do something with this woman? You know, it's a thing where, you know, if, if a guy receives head from another man, I'm sure it will feel good. But in his mind, that doesn't feel good because he's not sexually attracted to another man. You know, but a lot of people say a mouth is a mouth. Yeah, that may be true. You know, if you put a blindfold on him and he doesn't know, you know, who's doing that to him, I'm sure that he will feel good and be aroused by it. But the moment that he knows that it's a man, it turns him off. In my mind, that's a straight man. You know, um, so what makes it crazy that he wants to experience things with a female? You know what I mean? You know, just because you want to, you know, get your ass ate or maybe get fingered by your girl or, you know, or even more, maybe you into penetration, you know, when it comes to your girl doing it. Why does that make him gay? Like he's still attracted to a woman. It's just his body. Things that feel good to him. But I think so many men are closed off because of the perception that it may come with. Oh, if you like your ass being touched, you gay. Or if you do this, you gay. I don't understand that. Help me understand the logic in that. You're attracted to a woman. You know, I didn't know that being gay meant that what you like to do sexually. You know, of course, if you like sucking dick, yeah. But that's a male body part. But if you're not attracted to men, how is that gay? If you're only attracted to the opposite sex, how is that gay? I don't understand it. You know, and these women will go so hard, you know, and, and, and to be keeping it 100 with y'all, that's probably the reason why a lot of these men, when they get to a certain status, they go and marry them a white girl. Because white girls don't have that same logic in, and they don't think like that. They willing to please their man and maybe they might do some of the things that these black women ain't doing. You know, y'all say, oh, no, that, you know, and then you talk about it like it's a bad. OK, you know, this girl was saying that her man is attracted to her and he just want to do these things with her. And y'all no, nah, my nigga. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, that's gay. That's gay. <sighs> So, you mean to tell me, out of everybody in the world, all the men in the world, men are only supposed to get enjoyment from their dicks. That's the only thing that's supposed to feel good to them. Huh? You know, some of y'all dudes, y'all y'all afraid of the black community and people calling y'all gay or your girl calling you gay, you know, and things like that. So... You know, you won't open up and tell them what you like. You won't tell them what feels good. You're afraid of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say uh, gay sex is probably the best sex out there because they're more free to do, you know, whatever they want. And, and, and not all gay men want to be fucked either. You know, it's a preference. So just because you want to do that don't mean you because every gay man don't want to be fucked. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just what you like sexually. You shouldn't be labeled because of that. I have a problem with that video. You know, uh, I think it creates toxic masculinity. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a thing where men are not free to explore what they want sexually. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the world don't like the same food. Everybody's favorite color ain't red. You know, so some people would probably like that. You know, and... The thing of, you know, guys going to get what they want. And a lot of times when they have those experiences with somebody else, they don't go back. Y'all black women, y'all selfish. And y'all think it's all about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I ain't doing that. Oh, no, I can't. No, no. 
but you allowed to do whatever. Like you want them sucking you, licking you, fingering you. Y'all want a, a two dicks in your butt, one of your ass, one of your pussy, one of your mouth. Y'all want it all. But you can't please your man. Or you labeling him and making him feel less of a man because of the things that he want to do sexually with you. Is that right? You know, help me understand. Now, I understand if you, that turns you off and you don't like that. You know, you have plenty of men that you can find that don't want that either. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. But what if you were somebody that you love that does want that? And he wants you to do it. Are you turned off with him and you thinking he gay? Is it, do he have to leave? Is it over? Is that a deal breaker? Because your man wants to be penetrated by you? Or he wants you to eat his ass, or maybe he wants to uh, to be fingered. You know, maybe he wants you to suck his toes, you know what I'm saying, or suck his nipples, or, you know, um, do something like that. Why is he only, why, he only can feel good from fucking you? You know, or getting hair from you, and half of y'all don't know how to give hair, right, to be, to be honest. Let's have a conversation about this because I really don't understand. Is being gay being attracted to the same sex or is it or is being gay wanting to have a dick in your ass? Which one is it or is it both? Nah. If you're attracted to the opposite sex, you straight. If you, you know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with you wanna, what you want to do in the bed sexually. Now, when they go and get with one of these white girls and they having them doing all these nasty, freaky things to them and they don't come back home to you, you'll know why. I'm, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, if you do this to a man, they going to like it, but they just scared to do it because maybe they scared they might like it. You know what I'm saying? You eat a man's ass, he gonna be going crazy. He probably can't moan or short in front of you because if he act like he like it too much, you gonna call him gay. And for y'all super, you know, toxic masculine man, who, oh no, I can't do that, homie, that's gay. Do y'all niggas even wipe your ass right? Is that too gay for you? You know what I'm saying? How do you clean yourself? Because you're putting your finger like, or do you just wipe around the edges? Do you wipe up in there a little bit? Do you put your finger up in there a little bit to make sure it's clean? I'm telling you, if you don't, you're going to be having like fucking stains in your drawers. Y'all niggas is too straight to even wipe your ass right. I don't get it, man. You know, black women, man, y'all got to do better. Stop making these men feel like, you know, they less than a man because of what they want to do sexually with you. You know what I'm saying? Be more open-minded. You know, do more to please your man. Because you want him to do everything to please you. Y'all can be as gay as y'all want to be. Grabbing titties and shaking ass and going to the strip club and looking at coochies and uh, putting dollars on girls and, you know, um, running to the bathroom with a girl every time she do it, you know, uh, all that. Oh, but it's, oh no, we supposed to be soft and, you know, it's hypocritical. It's a double standard. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It goes for both sexes. But I bet you if a female was eating you out or doing something like that, you would like it. Some of y'all. You know, sexuality is fluid. You like what you like. Don't expect every man in the world not to not have no type of sensation from his ass. Because I'm telling you, if, if some of them feel it, some of them might like it. If you were the man and he likes that type of thing 
Don't make him feel bad or make him feel like he gay because he want to do something with you. Be more open-minded. Please your man just like you want to be pleased. You know, get a little more freaky with it. A lot of y'all holding back and not saying what y'all like because you scared of judgment. You know, have the conversation about sex before you get into it. Don't just jump in the bed and expect the person to know what you like. And don't be afraid, you know, oh, if I tell them I like this, they're going to think I'm a freak or, oh, let me just act like, you know, this or that. No. Tell, have a conversation about it. What do you like? How you want to be touched? How do you, uh, you know, what makes you feel good? What you don't want? You know, or I, I don't like when this happens to me. You know what I'm saying? Or I like when this happens to me. You're an adult. It's okay to have conversations about sex. You know, before you get into it. A lot of times y'all be lying about what y'all like and acting like y'all like this and that. And then y'all get with somebody. And then when they don't please y'all, y'all ready to go off to the next person. Because you wasn't honest. And a lot of y'all dudes too. You know, acting like you a top, you know what I'm saying? But you really want to get fucked. So you, you play this role and then, you know, you get with somebody who thinking you a top. And then, you know, you got to creep off with another top to get that part of what you want. Because you was being fake. Keep it 100. If you want both, you want both. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to, you know, uh, want more than the other. It'd be like, yeah, I'm open to it. I want that sometimes too. Ladies, stop judging y'all men and making them feel like they punks or they soft or they gay because they want to try certain experiences with you. You know, that's your man. You claim you love them. You're supposed to be satisfying them and keeping them happy. And y'all supposed to be doing that to each other. It ain't always just about you. You know what I mean? And men like more than just some whack ass head. Or fucking, or fucking you. They like more than that. Just create a safe space for your man to feel free sexually. For him to try new things, to keep it exciting. Ask your man what he like and, and, and allow him to be open and honest about it. Don't make him feel like you're going to judge him if he tell you something that you're not familiar with or you never done before. Because just because your man saying that he don't do this, you know, to you don't necessarily mean that he really not doing it. He might just be going somewhere else to get it. Because from off rip... You, uh, nah, hell no, nah. you know what I'm saying? If my nigga do that, he gay. I ain't, I ain't about to eat nobody ass up. Suck your toes. I ain't about to, what? What you want your nipples licked for? You can suck my titties. You know, like, some of y'all ain't freaky enough. Some of y'all just ain't. Y'all born in bed. Your sex is born. It's all about you. And half the time, your shit ain't good. I just don't get it. Let me know what y'all think. Is being gay, being attracted to the same sex, or is being gay liking something that has to do with your ass? Anything, that, you know, any type of... If you want your ass ate, that's gay. If you want to be fingered, that's gay. You know, if you want your nipples sucked, that's gay. If you want your toes sucked, that's gay. If you want to be penetrated, that's gay. Even if it's with the, a woman, with the same... With the opposite sex. I'll let your boy, man. Y'all seen the two clips? I talked about this on my radio show, you know, a while ago.
you know? So let me know. Holla.